Things on this side of Cod County are still looking pretty bad. We saw a lot of debris earlier in the Denton community, which is about halfway between Newport and Hartford. But Hartford is mostly made up of rafting companies along the river, other businesses, and the people that work at them. Now, luckily, a lot of those workers live up the mountain from the river and their homes weren't affected. However, they're now without a job. Primarily, it's all rafting for us. Um, we rely on that tourism um, and we don't know what the river looks like. Um, a lot of our businesses, um, we didn't have insurance. We couldn't afford flood insurance. It was so expensive. So myself, uh, I've lost everything. Michelle Cuellar is the owner of the Bean Trees Cafe and the Bean Sprout. She, along with volunteers, have spent the week cleaning out the now ruined building. This is a zone where we're having to be careful about our health. There are a lot of respiratory things going on. This mud is contaminated with who knows what. Um, I had a little chemical burn yesterday. I had to go to the uh, doctor for, and that was just from the mud being on my skin. Hartford sits right on the Pigeon River. When the storm began, river manager at Rafting in the Smokies, Jeff Polite, attempted to save some of their business. Uh, but within, you know, an hour, maybe an hour and a half, um, it was up, consumed the building, uh, and we had to evac because they were closing all the roads, what roads were left. Losing vehicles and rafts was just the start of the damage. We've got a rope obstacle course and a four-sided climbing wall. Um, that was all supported and accessed by a suspension bridge that went across the river. Unfortunately, the debris in the water, the force of the water wiped all that out. Uh, it was at one time a 10-acre island. Uh, now it's about a five acre island. With the town relying on tourism, business owners aren't sure where to go from here, but they're determined to rebuild. We'll make it happen here. I don't know how long that will be, but we're optimistic and we're strong and uh, supportive of each other. So we hope to get our industry back and what timeline, I don't know, but we'll keep plugging away. Now, police tells me they've seen volunteers come from as far as Chicago to help in the cleanup efforts in Hartford. Now, once those cleanup efforts progress a little more, Cuellar actually wants to hold a community meeting to help some of the other people in the area apply for relief funds. In Cock County, Ella Wales, 6 on your side.